Welcome to the sixth and the last quiz of the Pro Quizzing League Clash of the Titans. Six city teams will fight it out in the nature and wildlife quiz today. Let's see the players who will face off with each other. Playing for Kolkata Wizards today is Bhaskar Datta, a businessman and politician. Representing the Chennai erudits is Swaminathan, the banker. For Mumbai Geeks, playing today is Rajiv Rai, a retired banker. For Delhi Brainiacs, Arjo Priyo Ganguly, their camp captain will be playing today. He's an associate professor and a course leader. For Bengaluru Aces, doctoral student Maitri Deshpande will be playing. And representing the global geniuses all the way from Omaha in USA is Orpon Guho, a senior lecturer. Let's start by quickly looking at the leaderboard, where the things are before we go into the last quiz of the, of the league. We have Erudits leading the board with 410 points, but very close is the Aces. Uh, we have the Brainiacs on 330 sitting right in between. The bottom half looks more more exciting with teams on 240, the Geniuses and the Wizards, and uh, and the Geeks on 260. So everything to fight for. The orders are going to change, and let's see where we are at the end of this quiz. We start with the first round, which is off the blocks. The six questions on multiple choice. You get plus 20 for a correct answer. There's no negative in this round. One direct question for each team. No passing. You have 20 seconds to answer. First question of the quiz goes to the Kolkata Wizards. Here it comes. Which curator of zoology at the Museum of the Asiatic Society of India in Calcutta has a hornbill, parakeet, rose finch, reed warbler, among other birds, named after him? And here are your options. Uh, Edward Blythe. Edward Blythe. Let's look at the answer. You get a plus 20 on Edward Blight. Second question to Mumbai Geeks. Here it comes. While truly broken tulips do not exist anymore, the closest available specimens today are part of the group named for which artist who painted some of the most admired breaks of his time? Your options are these. Uh, I will go with uh, Rembrandt. You're going with Rembrandt. Let's see the answer. Plus 20 on Rembrandt. You are off the block in this round. Direct for the geniuses. Question number three. Part National Park, Park, UNESCO World Heritage Site, this world's largest tropical wetland called Pantanal is predominantly located in which of these countries? Here are your options. Yeah, I'll go with Brazil. You're going with Brazil. Let's look at the answers. And Brazil it is. Plus 20 for the geniuses. Direct for the Brainiacs. During the Spanish conquest, which animal was majorly employed to bring down ore from the mines in the mountains until the introduction of horses, mules, and donkeys? And your options are here. I will go with uh, alpaca. So going with alpaca. Unfortunately, it's llama, so you the can't get a point. Yeah, the tough tough uh, direct for the erudits. 
what plant species is the pub tree found in the sunland farm of Limpopo, so named because of the presence of a bar and wine cellar inside it? These are your options. I will go with uh, Baobab. You're going with Baobab. And it is Baobab. You get a plus 20 off the block, Chennai. Direct for uh, the aces. According to a popular legend, which mythical bird dropped its sword in what is now modern day Budapest, indicating to the Magyars that the area was to be their homeland? Your options? Um, I'll go with the. Uh... Alconost. We're going with Alconost. Let's see the answer. Not Alconost, it's the Turul. With this, we come to the end of the first round. Let's look at the scores where we are. Kolkata Wizards, Chennai Erudits, Mumbai Geeks, Global Geniuses have opened their account and all on 20. The Brainiacs and Aces are yet to come on the score sheet as we go into the second round of the quiz. Round 2 is called the Chance Double. There are 12 questions, 6 clockwise, the other 6 goes anti-clockwise. You get 10 for a direct or a bonus. You can go for a double at any time during the quiz by saying I go for a double. It might be on your direct as well as on the passing. If you go for a double, you get a plus 20 if you are correct. But you get a minus 10 if you are not correct. Okay, we start chance double. First question goes to the wizards. Whilst this natural product played a significant role during the 19th century in the development of modern input intensive farming, its demand began to decline after the discovery of the Haber Bosch process of nitrogen fixing. What product is this? Um, can I double? You can double. Uh, and double. And uh, this is guano or bird dropping, which was mined for uh, nitrogen um, as use of nitrogen as fertilizer. Bird dropping. Take a guano. plus 20 on that. Take a plus 20 on that. These are guanos, of course, the excrement of bats and seabirds. Next question goes to Mumbai Geeks. Why was the siphonophore apolemia recently in news? Okay, so uh, I'm not doubling this. Uh, I will go with that this is the creature found at the lowest depth on earth feature found at the lowest depth on earth you don't get any points pass on to the geniuses all right i'm going to take a chance and double this uh, so this is probably the pangolin which is uh, you know the was in the news for being the carrier for or for the one of the potential carriers for the covid not the right answer a minus 10 to the geniuses uh, passing on to the Brainiacs. I'll go for a double. Okay. This is the world's longest animal discovered off the coast of Australia recently. Take a plus 20 on this. This is the longest animal in the world recorded till death, till date. And of course, off the coast of Australia. Very good crack from Team Delhi. You get a plus 20. Direct for the geniuses. Here comes your question. In the early 19th century, this rare breed was found in Spain, Portugal, and southern France. It declined steadily, and in the early 2000s, only two isolated breeding populations remained in the world in southern Spain. 
with 100 adult animals, but only 25 breeding females. Identify this animal, which is the world's most endangered feline species, and may soon become the first species of its kind to be extinct. Yeah, I won't go for a double, okay? Um, okay. This is the uh, European lynx. The European lynx, I'll give you for that, plus 10, take a plus 10 on that. These are the Iberian lynx, but of course they are the ones in south southwestern Europe. So I give you a plus 10 on European lynx. The Iberian lynx is the correct term, that the correct name that is used. Direct for the Brainiacs. It is the smallest night jar found in North America. In autumn, the bird dozes off in a rock crevice or an old nest and sleeps through the winter months. It is said that when these night jars hibernate, they are found in a comatose state. Name them. You are looking for a common name. Yeah, I'm looking for the name of these birds. What are they called? There's only one of their kind, so give, the, give me their name. Um, this is, uh, I'll double. Yeah. I'll go with the poor will. Because Take it's... a plus 20 on poor will. This is the common poor will, and the only bird of its types that uh, hibernates. Probably the only bird that hibernates. The common poor will. Uh, direct for the erudits. Question number five. Here it comes. It's 25 years of what is described as a miracle. When these animals were reintroduced to the first national park of the U.S., it changed the biological diversity of the place and therefore its ecosystem. Which animal am I talking about? You want a common name, right? Yeah. Uh, the Wolf to Yellowstone National Park. The Wolf to Yellowstone National Park. You get a plus 10 on this. You didn't go for a double, right? So you get a plus 10. Question to the aces. Here it comes. Also known as Bushukan or Fingered Citrion, this citrus fruit whose skin somewhat resembles that of a lemon, is native to southwestern China and northeastern India. What is it commonly called? Uh, is it called the animon fruit? See animony fruit? No, not the right answer. Uh, pass on to the wizards. Uh, I double. Uh, this is called the Buddha's hand. You get a 20 for doubling. This is called the Buddha's hand. Of course, it's a winter fruit. It reveals a white, juiceless, and often seedless flesh. And it's prized for the fragrance that, is had, that it has. Very good answer, the wizards. Plus 20. We go anti clockwise from here, direct again to the aces. This primate is the only surviving member of the Daubentonia family and is considered endangered. It forages by penetrating wood and is similar to a woodpecker in that sense. In which country would you find it? Yeah, I'll double. Uh, this is Madagascar and the II. You get a plus 20 for this. This is Madagascar and it's called an II, of course. Very good answer. Direct for the erudits. In 1931, mountaineer Frank S. Smith and his colleagues, including the legendary mountaineer Eric Shipton, chanced upon this place on their way from a successful expedition to climb Kame and were mesmerized. It has an area of 87.5 square kilometers, lies above 10,500 feet, and is under snow from November to April. 
what is this place called uh, i will double it's the valley of flowers valley of flowers of course it is the valley of flowers you get a plus 20 on this the erudits next question direct to the brainiacs it was remarkable because the average life expectancy for red deer is 15 years and none living now would have encountered the boundary this is findings from a 7 year study in europe in 2015 in 2014 <laughs> now what boundary is this which now doesn't exist But the red deer still still won't cross. I will double. Okay. This is the this is the boundary separating. I mean the the iron curtain separating east and west, communist and capitalist Europe. Very very good answer. Very good answer. This is the German Czechoslovakia boundary or the iron curtain. So they did not cross the areas with the erstwhile electrified fences. now though these have been dismantled 25 years earlier but that's the change in their habitat a plus 20 for the brainiacs direct for the geniuses born john robin in haiti and later emigrating to the united states this naturalist and painter's magnum opus contains 435 hand colored life size prints He is also credited with discovering 25 new species. Name him or his magnum opus. Anyone will do. Not doubling. Um, I'm just seeing a guess. Is is it the Lonely Planet? The magnum not opus. Not the Lonely Planet. Not the Lonely Planet. Pass on to the geeks. I'm doubling. uh this is all the one absolutely right plus 20 for the geeks this is audubon and the birds of america plus 20 for the geeks the direct for the geeks scientifically this object is viewed with the spire upwards hence its opening is on the right side for religious purposes however this is viewed with the spire downwards hence the opening goes to the left side just name the object as used religiously okay i am not doubling i am doing the simple i will do the rudraksh the rudraksh the shiv shivas rudraksh no not yeah. the right answer pass on to the uh, wizards uh guessing is this the conch shell shark it is the shark you get a plus 10 it is the shank the dakshinavarti shank or the shri lakshmi yeah. shank i give it for shank plus 10 on this uh did mumbai uh, double on this mm -hmm. or, no 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 mumbai didn't double on this okay. Okay. so plus 10 to the wizards direct to the wizards now this deep sea crustacean was discovered in the abyss of the pacific ocean by dr tobin lay ray and dr bart de smet from ghent university in belgium only 6.5 mm long no eyes no color they are worm like and lives surrounded by metal nodules About thirteen thousand five hundred feet below the surface, Doctor Doctor Rail chose a name for these to honor legends in a certain field. So, who are they named after? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Not the right answer. Pass on to the aces. uh guessing attenborough attenborough pass on to the erudits uh i i'll say barton and beeb the people who went down in the first bath escape william beeb no pass on to the uh, brainiacs doubling doubling on this okay metallica 
Britannica gives you a plus 20. Splendid answer. They are called the macro stylus metallico, metallicola as they are called. Of course, they has, has, have the metals around them, surrounding. That was a big hint in the question. So Metallica gives you a plus 20. Let's check the scores at the end of the second round of the quiz. Okay, two teams still on 20, the aces and the geniuses. Leading the quiz with 80 is the Brainiacs. Metallica helps them to go on top of the chart right now. On 70, we have the Wizards, followed by the Erudits on 50 and the Geeks on 40. With this, we go to the third and final round of the quiz. And your third round is called the Final Frontier. 12 questions, 6 clockwise, 6 anti-clockwise. You get 10 for a direct but 20 for a bonus. So ideally, you need to hold on to your question so that the other team doesn't get a plus 20. And again, 20 seconds per question on direct. First of the six goes to the Wizards. Here's your question. Antirhinum is a genus of plants native to rocky areas of Europe, the United States and North Africa. Because of the flower's eerie resemblance to a mythical creature, what are they commonly called? Uh, Medusa's hair. Medusa's hair, not the right answer. Pass on to the geeks. Is this the, the Loch Ness monster? Not the Loch Ness Monster. The geniuses. Uh, my guess here would be uh, the Kraken. No. The Brainiacs. Uh, dragon or Snapdragon. You get a plus 20. Direct for the geeks. The Pink Fairy or Pichy Ciego is one of the smallest known species of what? You want a specific uh, species, is it? Or a yeah, I want a specific species, of course. Uh, of uh, bees. Bees? Yeah. Not, not, not bees, not bees. I pass on to the geniuses. I'll go with the armadillo. Take a plus 20 on this. This is the armadillo, of course. Plus 20 on Armadillo for the geniuses. Very good answer. Direct for the geniuses. Here's a question. A member of the weasel family, it secretes a pungent fluid from its anal glands when it must defend itself from predators and thus is considered the smelliest animal on earth. Give me a specific name. Which animal? Specific name? Yeah. Um, I thought you were talking about the skunk. That's my answer. No, not the skunk, of course. Not the skunk. I pass on to the Brainiacs. Uh, is it the Wolverine? Not the Wolverine. Pass on to the Erudits. Uh, the Muskrat. No, I pass to the Aces. I'm going to guess pole cat. Pole cat, it is the pole cat. The next is direct for the brainiacs. Here it comes. Which mythical bird of Persian legends and fables is a national symbol in the Uzbekistan and also finds a place in the country's state emblem? There are two options now. I will go with Simurg. Not the right answer. Pass on to the erudits. Uh, that was my answer also. I will say the rock. No. Aces? Uh, the phoenix. 
not the phoenix wizards uh the yeah yeah didn't get your answer a homo bird huma 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 bird huma humo gives you a plus 20 very good answer it is the huma or homa or humo also at sometimes called but that's the answer plus 20 to the wizards direct for the erudits the 13th UN Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species was held in Gujarat in February 2020. Which bird was chosen as its apt mascot? Uh, I will say the Arctic Tern. Not the Arctic Tern. Pass on to the Aces, uh, I'll guess the flamingo. Not the flamingo. Pass on to the wizards. Uh, Siberian cranes. No. Mumbai. Uh, I'll go with the great bastard. Take a plus 20 on that. Take a plus 20 on that. This is the great Indian bastard. Of course, found in those areas in Gujarat and Rajasthan. Plus 20 to the Mumbai geeks. Direct for the aces. Here's your question. Karkade is a popular drink in Egypt. It is served hot or chilled with ice. Wedding celebrations are traditionally toasted with a glass of Karkade. What is its main ingredient? I'll say basil, tulsi. Tulsi or basil, no, not the right answer. Pass on to the wizards. Um, not date palm. Not date palm to the geeks. Um, I'll go with papyrus. No, not the right answer. Uh, what did you say, Rajiv? I said papyrus. I don't think it's good, but still. Okay, pass on to the geniuses. Um, it's not taken a really, really bad guess, which people will make fun of me on YouTube for camel's blood. <laughs> not the camel's blood. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, Jabba Fool, hibiscus. Yes, that is the right answer. Plus 20 for hibiscus. It is a hibiscus tea. So, very, very good answer, the brainiacs. It is the hibiscus. We go anti-clockwise from here. The last six questions of the quiz coming up. Direct to the aces. Prince Elizabeth, Princess Elizabeth, on a trip to Kenya's treetops hotel, was told of her father George VI's death. The treetops hotel was built around a water hole, which was frequented by leopards and wild animals. Who was appointed as the key security person to ensure the safety of the princess? Uh, this is Jim Corbett. Jim Corbett gives you a plus 10. Very nice answer. That is Jim Corbett. Direct for the erudits. In 1950s, US decided to settle on a system that only used female names. However, after feminist activists complained, male names were again back in use in 1979. However, even years after that, a Washington Post editorial lamented in 1986 that many of the male names don't convey either the romance or the urgency that the circumstances might warrant. Now, this is about naming what? Uh, I will say this is about naming hurricanes and storms. Take a plus 10 on that. Very good answer. This is about naming storms and hurricanes. Plus 10 to erudits, direct for the brainiacs. One of the best national parks in the world for spotting leopards, 
However, the lush forests and marshlands forms one of the country's premier tiger destinations. <laughs> it is under consideration by the UNESCO World Heritage Committee for selection as a World Heritage Site. Name this national park in India. Oh, wow. So there is literally nothing to... Yeah, actually. Hold on. It's under consideration, you were saying? Yes. Nagar Hall. Nagar Hall. Of course, Nagar Hall gives you a plus 10 on this. Nagar Hall gives you a plus 10. Uh, direct for the geniuses. This is the national bird of which country that has hosted Cricket World Cup? Uh, give me the specific name of the country, please. This is uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Not Trinidad and Tobago. Pass on to the geeks. And it is Antigua and Barbuda. You get a plus 20. Important plus 20 for the geeks. This is Antigua and Barbuda. The frigid birds, of course. It's a tourist attraction, the nesting colony that they have there. Good answer, geeks. We direct for Mumbai geeks. But before that, let's take take a look at the scores we have the last two questions coming in the quiz leading the quiz on 130 points is the brainiacs followed by the wizards on 90 then we have the geeks on 80 very close five then we have the erudits on 60 the aces on 50 and the geniuses on 40 direct questions for the geeks and the wizards still left just a request, just a request uh, can we have a few more questions? <laughs> <laughs> we can end at the Kolkata Quiz Festival. <laughs> Indeed. The Sandman, impose the Sandman. <laughs> the Sandman is a question idea. per quiz. Yeah, there is a Sandman per question in this, in this format. Okay, direct for the geeks, question number 11. Endangered but spotted few days back in Thailand due to the effects of lockdown, identify these Sirenian animals. The manatees. Manatees, not the right answer. Pass on to the wizards. Uh, Dugongs. Dugong gives you a plus 20. Important plus 20 for the wizards. These are Dugongs, not manatees. They're different. Direct. And the last question to the wizards. You get this. You come second in this quiz, I believe. And your question comes now. Vasini Bai, a women innovator from Kerala, has recently developed 10 varieties of this flower which is mostly used as an indoor decorative. However, they, were, they, they are very useful in another way. Reason why they have been placed under a certain list of plants by NASA. I want the name of the list under which they have been placed. Nothing to go by. Uh... Um, beneficial indoor plants, uh, which reduces anti pollution. Anti pollution. That, that is the list. That best plants to be kept indoors for against pollution. Take a plus ten on this. This is air purifier plants. That's how they have listed. And that's a very good answer from the wizards. With this, we come to the end of the quiz and the league. Also, let's look at the final scores. Winning the quiz is Delhi Brainiacs on 130 but very close Kolkata Wizards on 120 then we have the Geeks on 80 followed by the Erudits on 60 
the aces on 50 and the geniuses finish on 40. Thank you so much for watching this edition of the Pro Quizzing League Flash of the Titans. Keep watching for the next quizzes all this week in our YouTube channel. Subscribe right now and keep on getting notifications. See you tomorrow.